Well, hello and welcome to another episode of Real Estate Investing with Jay Connor. I'm your host, Jay Connor, the Private Money Authority, and I want to welcome you to the show. A very special welcome if this is your first time to tuning in. We talk about all things real estate investing from single family houses to land to commercial deals to all kinds of opportunities on how to make a lot of money very, very fast. And again, if you are first time tuning in, I'm known as the Private Money Authority because 16 years ago, started investing in single family houses, but I got cut off from the banks and the mortgage companies six years into investing. And I got discovered this wonderful world of private money. And since that time, I haven't missed out on a deal because I didn't have the funding. I'm not talking hard money. I'm talking about private money, doing business with individuals. But today we're not going to focus on that topic. We're going to focus on my friend and a business colleague that has got a very, very unique marketing method on uh, doing this business. In fact, it's so unique. I have never heard anybody anywhere else on the planet doing the real estate investing business like he does. So let me tell you just a little bit about my friend and our special guest and expert today, and I'll bring him on. So this guy, and in fact, he's way too young to be this successful, but that's beside the point. This guy went from a struggling window cleaning entrepreneur to a crazy successful real estate investor. So he contributes most of his success to his team, this very unique marketing strategy and giving back to his students. So by helping others implement this very unique marketing system, he's found a proven way to make big money in any market. And as I said, different from anything or anybody else. So with that, welcome to the show, my good friend, Zach Booth. Well, thank you so much, Jay, for having me on here. And it was quite the intro. So thank you so much. Absolutely. I'm so excited to have you here on the show, Zach, because as I said, I just don't know anybody else doing the business like you're doing. But before we get into your very unique marketing strategy, how about tell us where, you know, or what were you doing before getting into the world of real estate investing? Yeah. So, so like you said, I was a window cleaner. You know, I actually landed on the history channel, washing windows. Really? How did that happen? <laughs> right. So I, I had done some tutorial videos through YouTube and so forth, mainly for clients uh, to see that we knew what we were doing. We had quality control in our process. And then also I had made a series of videos to train my employees because I had, I had so such high turnover. I was constantly teaching them the different strategies that we'd use. And, you know, I have uh, YouTube videos still to this day up. If you go look up like Zach's window cleaner, Zach's glass cleaning, you'll probably see me there on YouTube. My business still in, in working and everything. I sold it, but I, you know, I have videos with over a million views, but what happened is the history channel was doing a documentary on the, the power of YouTube and learning from YouTube. And they paid me for a portion of one of my YouTube videos. Wow. That's air it. Yeah. Now, what year was that? Oh, so I'm 30 and I actually started that business when I was 17 years old. So I, wow. I've been an entrepreneur since then. I haven't had a job since then. It's been quite the adventure. So you're telling me you can be a, um, a multimillionaire entrepreneur without going to college or university. Man, I actually dropped out and I was sweating bullets to tell my wife because I just think the world of her and I just, I, I had this vision and goal of dropping out of college and just going for it, just being an entrepreneur. And so I sat down with my wife and I said, honey, I think I should quit college. And I shouldn't have been surprised because she's so amazing and so supportive, but she said, you know, I believe in you. I know you're going to make it happen. And, you know, it's been one of the big motivators that I just couldn't let her down. So what year was that when you quit college? Oh, that had to have been. So I served a mission in Sao Paulo, Brazil, learned Portuguese. So 2010, I think I quit college the end of 2011. I got you. I got you. So you're doing the window cleaning business and it's going well. I mean, how well was that company doing? Yeah, we were doing awesome. So like I said, I served a mission. So I did a two-year mission from 19 to 21, my, my age. So I had a business for a couple of years, put it on hold, uh -huh. came back. And it was, I basically built that business up till 2000 and the very end of 2016, essentially. 
Okay. Um, and the end of 2016, we did just shy of half a million. I think we did like 480 something thousand dollars in revenue in the window cleaning business. That's a lot of windows. <laughs> it was a lot of windows and a lot of employees. And I had brought on a partner a few years before then. And that year we actually divided the company into two different branches. We had a commercial branch and a residential branch. And so it was quite the adventure, but it just, it wasn't, it wasn't that profitable. I mean, in the first eight months of real estate investing, I was making more as far as a profit margin in that industry than I was after 10 years of just 100% grit and grind. So it was, it was, a, it was a big difference. Yeah. So you've got this window cleaning business going on, you know, it's doing well. And what happened to catch your attention to this world of real estate investing? Right. So shortly after I got married and it was about 2011, I wanted to buy a house. I don't want to pay rent. I mean, I heard of renting one side and living in the other. So I, I went to went to work looking for a duplex, got qualified for a loan. And I actually picked up a duplex for for fifty five thousand dollars put some right. put put some work into it and rented one side out for about eight hundred bucks a month and my mortgage was about four four hundred <laughs> uh, <laughs> so you're so you weren't you were not only living for free you were living for free and making money off of living for free oh it was it was like that first like that first taste you know I was like wow I work so much less for this money than I do for window cleaning money I was like there is something to this yeah. And, you know, of course I tried to buy more, but the banks, like you mentioned, I just couldn't get financing. So I, I did lots of different things. I went and, uh, you know, I had a lot of high end, high income clients doing window cleaning. I pitched to lots and lots of them, try to flip once I got private money and failed miserably. They got their money, but I lost money. You know, I didn't want to burn a bridge there. And okay, so you started using private money in the uh, beginning stages of your investing career. I did my very first flip. That's what it was. That worked out so horribly. I stopped. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a quick lesson learned right there that you could share from that experience, so the the listeners and viewers here could uh, learn from your mistake and not make that mistake? It was all about getting the right price. It was all about sourcing the right deal. So you, so you paid too much for the property. Yeah, I just paid Got too it. much. I mean, the, the loan private money was great. My partner was great. Everything was great there. And it just, it just didn't work out. So, so going back to like window cleaning, what happened there, why I got out of it is I had started dabbling, right? I started dabbling. Right. And shortly after I failed miserably, I knew I needed, I needed more coaching. I needed help on finding and sourcing deals. So I paid for a coach. I learned a lot from that coach, but it was just like a fire hose, right? He was teaching short sales and all this complicated stuff that right. that my small, you know, peanut-sized brain couldn't quite grasp um, and know what to do with all of that information. Yeah, gotcha. and you know, I put some of that on a credit card. It was a ten thousand dollar course, and you know, I wasn't living amazingly off the income I was making as a window cleaner, and so it was a lot of money and. I just really struggled and struggled and struggled to try and get into it. And then I had some differences with my, my partner that I brought in as far as like the vision of where we wanted to take the window cleaning company. Uh huh. Ton of respect for him. Love the guy, but it, it just, it was something that I was sick of the industry. I wanted to be a real estate guy. And Lord, you, you wanted out, you wanted out. I did. I wanted out, you know, it was hard. <laughs> it was, it was an industry I didn't aspire to be in. None of the employees I had inspired to be window cleaners. It wasn't, it was, it was a tough industry. It really gotcha. was. So your first uh, flip was a losing proposition, paid too much for the house. Mm -hmm. You uh, hired a coach, a $10,000 investment. And then what happened from that experience? So from there, I actually ended up in 2016, September. Well, actually, the beginning of the year, I had made a goal. I ended up picking up two properties from one of my clients who was actually a real estate developer, had two rentals that he didn't want to deal with, picked them up seller finance and for like less than 4% down. Wow. Wow. Okay. And, you know, it was like half a million dollar note. I had lease options in there that if they cashed me out, I'd make well over $100,000 um, total. 
And right. so like that happened and I was like, yes, again, it's a real, like it happens. Right. And I hadn't made any money off of them. I was cash flowing a little bit, meaning I was paying, you know, I was getting paid a little bit more than what my, my monthly payments to keep the houses going, you know, keep the mortgage paid. Uh huh. And, but I was, I was over it at that point. I was like, I am done. I'm going to be a real estate investor. And I met the coach that changed it all for me. So that was January of 2017, the very first week of January. I met a man named Cody Hoffine. And uh, Jay, <laughs> oh, I, yeah. I, I, I think you know Cody. this man. Yeah. So, so I met him at a local RIA meeting. He's actually here in my market in Utah, and he's partners with Tom Kroll. And they together, they own and run a company called Wholesaling Inc. It's a coaching program. And at the time, their course was $9,000, very much in the red in real estate investing. <laughs> Right. my wife so supportive i told her i wanted to put a majority of that course on my credit card i was going for it and uh she supported me uh she did raise one eyebrow this time <laughs> right right got it uh, but she's so supportive and what happened was i bought that course actually in february my birthday was march 2nd sat down with my business partner at lunch and i said i quit i can't do this anymore <laughs> you know i landed my boats on the shore and i burned them and i said i am a real estate investor now and the profits that i would get paid from my window cleaning company was not close to enough to live off of you know so not earning a paycheck anymore from the company i was i was in deep deep doo-doo if I didn't, uh, <laughs> I didn't perform, right? I had to put food on the table. I had a, a child and my wife was pregnant and uh, I was going for it. I was going for gotcha. broke. And okay. so, you so that's how I got up. into it. So you signed up with Tom and Cody and what happened? Yep. So that was March when I really, really went full time into the coaching. I bought it at the end of February. And then in April of 2017, I did my first wholesale deal is, is right. what, what it's called. So, so for listeners that aren't familiar, essentially what I did is I found someone that wanted speed and convenience for their property that, that didn't want to deal with the hassle. And I offered them a cash offer and the purchase agreement had, had a clause in there that allowed me to sell that purchase contract to another investor and they could pay me for that contract. And then they would close on the house. And uh, it was the, the, my very first deal. They were actually two very experienced real estate investors, way more experienced than me. They, they together jointly had owned over 100 rental properties at one time. And it was their very last property they had owned together. The partnership went sour. It was their last deal. They wanted speed and convenience. He gave me the number. I sent him the DocuSign. I had no idea if I had a deal or not. <laughs> right. And I, I sent it out to my cash buyers list that I had built. And a guy wanted it that had just done a 1031 tax. So for tax purposes, he, he needed to move money. So he picked it up, paid me $10,000 for the contract. And it was proof of concept, right? It was like, okay, it can be done, right? I can do deals like that. I can just, I can just make ten thousand dollars in a day. It can. So be done. on that very first deal, you paid in full and made a profit, or made more money than what the coaching investment was. So you got your money back on your first deal. Very much so, you know. And and obviously there was marketing cost in there. Sure. So I mean, I was still very much in the red. I mean, I had made other giant mistakes, and I had signed a thirty thousand dollar contract for an online marketing company that never got me one lead. So I oh, was wow. making. Oh yeah, I had made. I've made some very expensive mistakes getting into this, but I wanted it bad enough. I was hungry. Yeah. I was I, very I, hungry. Yeah. So you know, you you mentioned. Uh, at the beginning of the uh, show about your YouTube that, you know, your, your videos out there, you've had as many as a million views and you had tutorials. So really you have not only viewed yourself as an entrepreneur uh, since you were 17 years old, but you've also viewed yourself as a teacher and a coach, right? Well, you know, what's funny, Jay, is I didn't see it. I didn't know that. I, you know, it's funny how sometimes we have skill sets or, or talents or, or interests that we don't quite know. It's, it's funny because my wife had actually told me years ago, she says, you know what I see you becoming one day is an inspiration or a self-help coach. I see you being like a Tony Robbins, you know, right. maybe not to his caliber, but I, I remember thinking like, why do you see that in me? Like, I, you know, why? And now I see a lot more of that, but I, but I never became a coach because that's what I aspired to do. 
right. becoming becoming a coach was a consequence of of well, I can I can actually share that story. That's well, I tell you what. Before we get into how you became a coach, we've been teasing the audience for now like fifteen minutes as to what is so unique about your marketing strategy right. and what right. you do. So why don't you go ahead and and go ahead and share your unique marketing strategy as the what you're doing and why it's so different from anybody else. Uh, so let's let's share that and then we'll come back to how you got into coaching. All right. So marketing strategy, kind of give the backstory of the marketing strategy. As an entrepreneur, a lot of the times what happens is you hit a barrier, you hit a wall, you hit a you hit an issue, and either you you solve the problem or you or you quit and essentially failed because you quit, not necessarily because there was a barrier. Right. And so what happened is I got into it, did my first deal of April. We just shared that. And then I did just shy of, or actually just a little bit over a hundred thousand dollars that first, you know, first from April to the end of the year. Uh, that was 2017. And then 2018, I said, okay, how do I really make a business? Like, cause I did not make enough money after everything, every expense, marketing expense. It's like, I need more leads. I need right. more deals. I need right. more discounted properties. And so yep. Started racking my brain, what out there is possible? And there's something called driving for dollars, right? Yep. This is what we've been teasing you about. Driving for dollars. What driving for dollars is, is you drive around a neighborhood and you look for physical signs of neglect on the house. And then you reach out to those people and see if they want to sell at a discount. And so that's, that's not new, right? That's probably the most proven, most fundamental startup ways to get into this industry. Right. But the thing is, is it's traditionally, and what makes this so unique on what I do is traditionally you find, I don't know, a few houses here or there, you do 50 a week and you're really working hard, right? Traditionally. In my team, we do over 2,000 houses every single week that we add to our marketing list. Woo. And, and what, what uh, so those 2,000 houses that are new leads that you and your team do, what's the population area to get 2,000 leads a week? Yep. So in our market, we can do anywhere between 2,000 to 2,500 a week, and we will redrive everything that has potential motivated sellers every six months. So if you look up Utah, majority of our population lives right here in the valley of, you know, about an hour north and an hour south of Salt Lake City. So we're barricaded, this strip of cities is barricaded in between the Great Salt Lake and the Wasatch Front. And that population is about 2 million people. Gotcha. So, so your population of 2 million, you have proven can render about 2,000 leads a week. Yep. And right, some of ahead. my students, you know, that, that number is higher, that number is lower. It just depends on your population. But the interesting thing is, is a, a bigger population, you have more competition. And so there's more leads, but there is more, co more companies as well. And the smaller populations, you have less companies and you have less leads. And so, so really, it doesn't matter the size of your market. This marketing system works. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, so that's, uh, yeah, I was just running the numbers as to if all things were equal, you know, how large of an area do you need to be in, you know, to, for this to work and, and to get the leads and really any size market works. So go ahead. Yeah. So, so that's a big thing, right? Even if your market is, you only can drive a hundred properties a week. I mean, you can still generate leads off that. The, the biggest thing is so many of the marketing lists. So as a real estate investor, you got to do marketing. There's a, actually a book called multifamily millions. I can't remember the author, but in there, I remember reading it and I was just like, man, this guy gets it because he said, he said, you are not in the business of real estate. You are in the business of marketing and your product is real estate. That is so, absolutely the truth. It is so true. If you are not marketing and you want to be a real estate investor, you need to completely flip your mindset. Like you have to find discounted deals. Like you can't depend on real estate agents. You can't depend on a third party company to generate leads. Like you have to generate those leads. You have to service those leads. Like that is the business we are in. Exactly. And I'll tell you what, Zach, so let's give out that special link that gets everybody to the webinar, the live webinar you're doing, Zach. And so that special link to register for this very special webinar is www.jayconner.com forward slash Zach, Z-A-C-K. 
Again, that's www.jayconner.com forward slash Zach, Z-A-C-K. Yeah, so we actually have a live webinar coming up. It's going to be October 30th, 2019. It's going to be 7 p.m. Eastern time. In the show notes, I'm, I'm sure you guys will have the link as well. And for Jay, Jay's audience here that register for that live webinar, during that live webinar, I'm actually giving a, a really nice discount in there and even a bigger discount to, to those that, that follow live. So in that live webinar, I'm going to cover marketing. I'm going to cover like how to find these discounter properties, all the different strategies, all the different lists, and why driving for dollars is the very best and trumps them all, and then explain exactly what's in my step-by-step -step course. So the link for that is www.jayconner.com forward slash Zach. The spelling is J-A-Y-C-O-N-N-E-R.com forward slash Z-A-C-K. And for those that are able to look at the show notes, we'll put that in there. So let's go ahead and, and let's give the audience right now as much value as we can about how this, how you work this strategy. So go ahead. First of all, how in the world are you getting 2000 leads a week on, on automatic? That's the beauty of the, of the course and the beauty of the advancements of technology in, in our day and age, right? When I tell people this is the size of my marketing system, they think I have a giant team. Uh, I have one guy. I have one guy that does all of that. Amazing. He does all the driving. He sends all the postcards. He up, he gets all the phone numbers uploaded for my dialing team. Right. And so it, it does not take a giant team. It's, it's a very simple process. If, if you're interested in it, even if you're not interested in the course, you want to just kind of start dabbling in it. There is a app. It's called Deal Machine. And you can download that Deal Machine. And I'll offer you guys my discount. If you use the discount code PIN, P I N, it, it, when you register for it, you'll get uh, the, the best discount. You get a, a few extra bonuses in there as well. So, yeah, the, the founder of that company, David Lecco, uh, actually is a good friend of mine, and we're in, the, in, in a mastermind together, and, and he's got a heart of gold too. But yeah, it's, that's a fantastic app. So, anyway, go ahead, Zach. Yeah, so that's kind of the, the core of, of how we're able to, to scale to this size. Obviously, there's a, a big portion of how we market to the list, how often, uh, how to build a team, how to hire the right person, how to compensate, how to manage them, how to make sure they're driving in the right areas. I mean, my course is a step-by-step -step for all of that, how to set all that up. And I'll go into more detail during the live webinar. I think it's really important, too, for the audience to understand why I became a coach. Um, oh, sure. I'd, well, I'd love, to, love to share that. Go ahead. So uh, it was 2018, the beginning. Actually, it was actually the very end of 2017, looking towards 2018, trying to put together a goal and a vision. And, you know, we ended 2018 with about $450,000 in revenue. Wow. Yeah. So and we, you didn't have near the overhead as the pressure washing business, right? Or window, no, or window cleaning business. Not at all. You know, paid off cars, bought a beautiful home, cherry picked one of my deals. It was life changing. Bought my wife her dream car, bought myself my big pickup I've always wanted. You know, it, it was, yes, I had some toys. I started traveling more, had way more freedom with the team. So it was wonderful. It was 2018 was, was life changing. But as an entrepreneur, and a person that loves to challenge himself, I said, how do I get to the next part? Like, what's the next step? Like, how can I add more value to my team, to my family? And I set a goal trying to do a million dollars in revenue this year, 2019. And I had no idea how. I thought I had marked, you know, I had set up the drive for dollar system. I thought I had tapped out my market. I didn't think I could grow anymore. And so I started racking my brain. And it's kind of funny when you start to focus on something, things appear, right? You start to notice things. And, and so I had a buddy invite me to do self-help journal. It's called Living Your Best Year Ever. And in there, you make three big goals for, for the next 12 months. And as you're setting up those goals, it talks about the importance of giving away whatever you want to receive. So my, my goal of making a million dollars, I had to give away a million dollars, Jay. Wow. And, <laughs> and I was like, well, how do I give away a million dollars? I don't have a million dollars in my pocket still to this day. I, I, I just couldn't just give away a million dollars, but I was trying to take it serious. Right. And so I started racking my brain and the idea came, be a coach, put a million dollars in your students' businesses, implement this marketing system 
help them implement it into their business. And so I reached out to my my friend, mentor, Tom Kroll said, hey, would you allow me to, to reach out to your audience just a little bit, get a few students and just test this across the country and see if I can put a million dollars in their, in their business. Right. And that was in November of 2018. And I brought in my very first students and I have a handful of them that are absolutely crushing it. And I'll talk about some of them in the webinar. And it was so amazing, Jay, because not only not only did it change my investment business and it because they would ask me questions of things that I didn't even know to ask because some of these guys are so much more experienced than me. And so by giving to them, I got so much more back in return. It was mind blowing. And so with their brain power and my brain power, you know, my marketing system evolved even more. And, and a course, a step-by-step instruction of what people really need and what they really need to focus on was put together. Like, like that's how I became a coach. That's how this course was put together. I never became a co- a coach to make money. That was never the initial focus. It was truly to put a million dollars in my students' pockets. And, and I've had so much joy and fulfillment on helping other people that I decided to become a coach. I decided to actually put a course together, do marketing and teach people this marketing strategy all across the country and bring it to a price point that that makes sense for people. That's awesome. So do you know, so the students that you have been working with for free, because that's, that's just what you wanted to do. You wanted to give it away. Do you know how much profit or uh, revenue they have made uh, since you started working with them? Uh, To clarify, I've never, I've never coached for free. And and I did that because of Tom's advice. Um, Well, you know, and I'm glad you didn't because I've learned the hard way as a coach myself in the past that when you give it away for free, you don't have the commitment from the student. They don't have any, exactly. They don't have the commitment. They don't have the skin in the game. So anyway, how, how have your students been doing so far? Um, so they've been doing amazing. So I had those beta test students. I had about 15 total, you know, obviously not everyone implemented, not everyone actually took the action steps, but, but I have, for um, those that actually uh, implemented and, and, and followed your training, how's it going? So a lot of that I'm going to talk about in the webinar, Um, but I, but, and and I can, I can just briefly go over it. So like my, one of my very first students, the very first deal I helped someone get, get this, this was so mind blowing to me, the very first deal. So he's an amazing, amazing guy. Um, and, and I'll talk about him on the live webinar and, but, but his very first deal, he did the marketing and he was working full-time traveling or a lot. His wife actually was doing a lot of the driving for him. His mom was a real estate agent, so she could go do the negotiations. She went out and right. negotiated the deal, got it under contract. They had no idea what they had. He actually called me and I was like going over the numbers. I was like, what do you think it's worth? Like, what do you think rehab is? Like rough, rough guess, guesses, right? Because he's, you know, doesn't have a, a very good grasp on that market. Right. And And I was like, I think you're going to make over $100,000 just selling the paper, just selling the contract. He ended up closing on it and reselling. And his net, his profit was $113,000. Wow. $113,000. And that's that's just just selling the pay. That's just a wholesale assignment fee. Yeah. I, I, I know he closed on it and resold it, but you know, immediately right okay so he so he stayed in the deal and flipped it yep he flipped the deal but he he sold it immediately actually to another investor and so you know it wasn't a a retail sale it was an immediate sale the next day i got you i just say we're almost out of time gotcha well it was it's it's been incredible to see their success to see his success i have a handful of other students like i said and you know this is a a newer opportunity for people Uh, i just you know, really started opening up to a larger majority of students a few months ago. And so I've got a handful of new students and uh, there's so much to the course. There's so much to the support to my students. I love this. I'm passionate about it. And I'm so excited to share this with, with everyone that's, that's interested in finding more deals. Yeah. But when you, when you tell me what you were doing, I was just blown away by the biggest thing I'm blown away is the, the number of leads you can get in any size market you got one person out there. So you got the whole thing automated. You've got the system in place on how to find the people, how to hold the people accountable. 
and and so it's just fantastic so let's give out the information one more time before we sign off on your upcoming live webinar where you really drill down on this system and you can go in there register for the webinar there will be the live webinar october 30th at 7 p.m eastern if you cannot make it make sure you still register because if you do you'll still have access to the replay and the discount that's available like i said there is a bigger discount available at the live event so if you can do whatever you have to to, to be there at that event all right that's so. great well zach thank you for taking time to be on the show i appreciate you man well thank you so much jay i really appreciate this and uh it's been fun speaking to you again all right. That's great. All right, folks. Thank you again for joining in for another episode. I'm Jay Connor, the Private Money Authority, wishing you all the best. Here's to taking your business to the next level, and I'll see you on the live webinar. Zach, again, one more time, Zach, uh, what day and what time? So it's going to be October 30th at 7 p.m. Eastern, 2019. Course, they'll get all that information when they uh, register at that special link. Perfect. All right. Perfect. Yep. Catch you later, Zach. We'll see you. All right. See ya. Bye-bye. Well, I'm Jay Connor, the Private Money Authority, and look forward to seeing you on the next show. Bye for now.